Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. So this reading is going to be what are they doing now? So we just want to know about your person, what have they been up to, what's going on with them. Um, so this is mostly going to be for people that aren't in a communication with their person and they really just don't know what's going on with them. So we're going to have three choices today. I will also do a yes, no coin flip for each pile. So if you want to have an additional question to go with your reading, then definitely think about that. If you have to pause it, then definitely do that. Um, the first reading is going to be the rose. So if you're drawn towards that icon, that is the first reading. The second reading is going to be the paint stroke. So if you're drawn towards that icon, that is the second reading. And the third reading is going to be this cute little ladybug. So if you're drawn towards that icon, then that is going to be the third reading. So I'm just going to be a qu quiet for a minute, let you focus on the icons and decide which one you're drawn towards. If you're drawn towards each different icon for a different person, then that's definitely something you can do. Or if you feel drawn towards two icons, you can't decide between them, then definitely go ahead and pick two icons. So now I'm just going to be quiet. Okay, so if you chose the rose, let's look at your cards. Okay, so first you got the sweetheart card in the gypsy playing cards. Second, you got the high priestess in the gilded tarot. Third, you got the focus and then act in the messenger oracle. And then last, you got the Peace of Mind card in the Healing with the Fairies deck. Okay, so hopefully you can see all four of those cards. Um, so first, with the Sweetheart card. So this person, they're definitely thinking about you. They're thinking that they would like you to be their girlfriend, their woman, their lady. Um, they want to love you. They, they admire you. They think you're nice, they think you're sweet, they think you're a great person. They also think you're lovely to be around and they just want this romantic relationship with you. They think the world of you and they have a lot of love for you. So your person, what are they doing now? They're thinking about you, okay? They're thinking about you. The next card that you have is the High Priestess. So the High Priestess, she really, um, she, she has hidden knowledge. She has a lot of wisdom. Um, and she, she can be kind of secretive. She is definitely the feminine energy in the tarot. And she's also the spiritual person in the tarot. So this person, they can be, um, reflecting upon things, um, trying to tap into their intuition, um, but they're definitely thinking about you and maybe they think that you have some secrets from them or maybe they have some secrets from you. Um, but things haven't been revealed. There are some things that you really don't know about. This person hasn't revealed everything to you. So what are they doing now? They are keeping some secrets from you. Um, things aren't exactly how they appear and there are still things that you don't know about. So they can be thinking about you and they can be thinking about, um, you know, just about these secrets that they're keeping from you. I think that they're thinking that they, they should reveal these secrets to you. It's really something that they're, they're really thinking about. They're, they're deciding if they're gonna reveal these things. So they're kind of retreating right now so that they can reflect upon things. And just, there are secrets. That's all I can say. There are some secrets. 
Okay, focus and then act. So this is card number 12. So 12 might have some significant to you. Um, 12, look up the angel number 12 and that can also give you another message. Um, but with this card, focus and then act. This person, they, they're trying to manifest this with you. They really, this is what they want is to be with you and they they just really need to focus on it right now so i feel like they're retreating right now and they're trying to pray about it and they they want to work on this relationship but what this card is saying that yes it's good to focus yes it's good to pray yes it's good to think about things but you need to get up and you need to take the necessary steps that are required to make this work. I mean, this is not a time to just sit there and, you know, be passive and let spirit do all the work. So this person could think that they can just sit back and let spirit do all the work and that spirit's gonna take care of everything. But this person, they need to stop that. They need to take the steps that are necessary to, you know, make this happen. They want this, they want to manifest this relationship with you. This would make their dreams come true. And they're really focusing on it. They're praying about it. But they're not doing the work that's necessary to make it happen. So what Spirit is saying is they need to get up. They need to get out of this place of, um, you know, being stuck. And they need to actually take the action to make things happen. So... I feel like this person, they're not making a move. They are not making a move. They're keeping secrets from you. The secret is that they want this relationship with you and they're trying to manifest it. The last card that you got is the peace of mind card. So this is making peacefulness your highest priority. So this person, they really, what they need to do is they need to be honest with themselves um, they're really, they're not following their inner guidance. Their feelings are telling them that they want you. They definitely want to be with you and they need to do what they're guided to do so that they can finally feel this relief in their lives. So, you know, live your life doing what you feel drawn to do. And I feel like this person they're, they're trying to do that. They're trying to do that. They know that they want you and they want to have peace back in their life. Because right now I feel like they're not having peace. They're not having peace because they're not following what their inner guidance is telling them to do. What their feelings are telling them to do. So, you know, they're, they're, they need to go through this process of letting go of toxicity um, just letting go of holding back. I feel like they're holding back. They're just being still and they're not doing anything. And it's probably keeping them up at night. And they just, they need to let go of it. They need to surrender their problems to God and just let God take care of it. And life can be really simple when you just let go of your worries and you just do what your heart tells you to do. Be honest with yourself and do what you really want to do. Life can be very simple, but this person, they're still trying to figure that out. So they need to get rid of some toxicity in their life. They need to probably let go of some negative people in their life, and they need to surrender these problems to God and get some peace back in their life. So I feel like they, um, they're trying to take the steps to do that and right now they're they're kind of in a place of stillness but they know that they're gonna have to take some steps pretty soon so right now they're not doing much but they are definitely definitely gonna be doing something soon because they want this they they're trying to manifest this but you know, just manifesting this without taking steps, without taking actions is really not enough. So I think this person, they are going to realize that they're going to have to do something about this. 
They're, they are going to have to do something about this. So let's do your yes, no if you pick number one. Okay, so you got no. So whatever you asked, the answer is no. I'm not sure what you asked, but things can always change. So next time this could be a yes, but for right now, this is a no. I feel like this person, they're really, they're stalling. They're stalling, but they can only stall so long. Okay, so if you chose the paint strokes, let's look at your cards. So in the Gypsy Tarot, you got the Fortune card. In the Gilded Deck, you got the Eight of Cups. In the Messenger Oracle, you got Let Go of the Old. And in the Healing with the Fairies, you got Letting Go. Wow. So this person, if you can't tell already, they have a lot of stuff that they are letting go of. So this is actually a good message um, for your person. They, they're they deciding now that there's a lot of stuff that they need to let go of. They're going through this time that's very hard for them. They're struggling. They have a lot of problems. They're not able to solve them. And, you know, being stuck in that negativity, it's really going to make things worse. And thinking about things over and over and over and focusing on the negative, it's just going to bring more negative in and things are going to get worse. So this person, they're trying to let go of thinking too much and focusing on the negative and they're trying to work on surrendering their problems to God and knowing that heaven's going to take care of them. Heaven's going to intervene as soon as they say, God, I need your help. God is going to come in and intervene and things are going to get better and things are going to be resolved naturally. So this person, they're working on their trust. They're working on letting go of their worries, their struggles, their anxiety, their thinking of negative things. And it's actually helping them to grow. And then the, the next card, letting go of the old. So they realize that they're blocking their growth from moving forward because they're having fear. Their thoughts are fearful. They're worried about the future and um, it's really not helping them. So they're letting go of fears. They're letting go of any people or anything in their life that really doesn't serve a purpose, anything that's negative. So anything that's emotionally negative, anything that's physically negative, they're letting go of. So they're doing like spring cleaning. They're spring cleaning their emotion. They're spring cleaning the environment around them. And they're, they're trying to let go of the past so that they can move to the future. And the future of what they want is, is with you. And they want to move forward with you. But there's a lot of things that they have to let go of first. There's a lot of negative things that are, are surrounding them and they really have to let go of. So the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is really about departure. It's about walking away from things. It, it could come with depression. So I feel like this person, they are very depressed about walking away. They've kind of given up on this love and you know, they're walking away. What they really need to do, they probably need to seek some help. They need to seek some advice because help is really out there. Um, because abandoning this relationship, it's really, it's probably depressing to them. And they really just need to change. They just need to change so that they can move forward and do things right this next time. So it's really, it's really starting from scratch, starting over and allowing new doors to open for you. So they're, they're leaving behind anything that doesn't serve them so that they can move forward being a better person, a person that isn't full of fear, a person who isn't full of um, negative thinking and a person who just gives their problems up to God and you know, can let go of things, can let go of what's not serving them. 
And then the final card is the fortune card. So I feel like once they are able to do that, once they are able to let go of anything that doesn't serve a purpose in their life, anything that's just negative, and once they stop thinking or trying to solve all those problems themselves, like, you know, repeating the problems in their head, once they are able to do that and start over and start from scratch, uh, I think that they are going to create this miracle because this card talks about victory. It talks about miracles. It talks about luck turning in your direction and your dreams really coming true. It's it's abundance and it's just things happening that are positive and it's because you've not made them happen it's because the divine has made them happen so this person really needs to realize that they can't control everything and just let go and give it up to God and once they finally do that once they are finally able to let go of any negativity or anything that's not serving them these miracles are immediately going to come in for them so I think this person is still working on doing that and they will be able to do it but it is a process so I just dropped that and it was yes but I didn't shake it enough I felt like I need to shake it more so if you want to take that as yes then you can just click off now but I want to shake it again Okay, so you got no. So maybe you want to take that first flip where it fell out of my hand. But I'm getting no. So I feel like this person, they do need more work. They do need more work to let go of negativity in their lives. So give them time. Be patient. Okay, so last but not least, if you pick the cute little ladybug, let's look and see what are they doing now. So we got the death card in the gypsy playing cards. We got the magician card in the gilded. We got the seek your answers within in the messenger oracle. That's number um, 36. And then we got feeling safe in the healing with the fairies. Okay, so this person with the death card, I feel like they're they're ending a cycle in their life and they're beginning a new cycle so they're leaving behind the past and they are rebirthing into a new person it's kind of like the phoenix rising from the ashes or ending this period of the dark night of the soul and dropping any dysfunctional people any dysfunctional behaviors any kind of negative environment um, that they've been living in so their wounds are starting to heal because they are changing their life they're actually transforming into a new life and to a new person they're just totally changing and with a magician I feel like they are they have a lot of power here they they're tapping into their full potential because they know that they need to transform they know that they need to change so they're now they're taking the control over their life so that they can change it's like the magician presto magic I'm changing they have all the tools they have all the talents they're really focusing on it right now they're focusing on changing so that they can tap into their full potential so that they can change for the better for the better so this person they may have some ancient magic within them where they're getting visions they're getting ideas solutions um you know the magic is working the magic is working for this person so they're manifesting good things in their life and the bad things are naturally falling away things are appearing like presto changeo they're changing they're changing their life and then seek your answers within so with this card, it's really saying, you know, maybe this person felt kind of confused, so they needed to step away from you. They needed to step away from the situation. They really needed this solitude like this bear. You know, they needed to go away. They needed to hibernate for a while. They needed to go into this void so they could embrace the silence 
and find the answers. So, you know, they're becoming this magician. They're tapping into their magic so they, they can presto, changeo, transform their lives. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's weird, but I'm sorry. So this person, they're changing. They are literally changing everything about them. They're transforming into this new person who is going to be a better person. They're ending a cycle and they're coming into a new cycle. And then you've got the feeling safe card. So with this card, it's, it's saying, you know, heaven is there for you. Heaven is always waiting to help you. There's angels that are surrounding you. They love you. They want to protect you. They're there every day, every night, every, every time that you're doing anything, they're there. When you're frightened, when you're insecure, they are there trying to protect you, trying to help you through any thoughts of danger, any vulnerabilities. Um, and they're giving you strength. They're giving you power. So I feel like this person, their angels are around them right now. And their angels are giving them the power to change who they are. So they're awakening to the fact that their angels are there for them. Their angels are there to protect them. And they're completely safe. So I feel like they're changing who they are. They're letting go of anything that didn't serve them. And they're changing who they are. They're changing their life completely. So I feel like when this person comes back to you, you're, they're going to be kind of unrecognizable. They're going to be a whole different person, but it's going to be a better person. It's going to be a person who um, has a lot of power. They have a lot of, um, they just, they're a master of their own life. And they're no longer scared of anything. They're no longer afraid to move ahead with you. They're just they know that heaven is there. Heaven is there to protect them. There's angels there that are keeping them, you know, safe. And if they feel vulnerable, they can tap into the energy of the angels. And they can tap into this energy of the bear. And just know that, you know, they're strong enough to get over this. They're strong enough to manifest this. So I feel like they're trying to do that right now. They're getting a lot of visions from... Maybe their dreams. Um, they're having a lot of weird dreams probably. And, you know, they're going to come up with the solutions of how to fix this. But this person, they're, they're coming out of this, this dark side of the, this dark night of the soul time. And getting rid of any negative behaviors or, you know, anything that was negative in their life, they're getting rid of it. So when they come back to you, they're going to be totally different person a better person a stronger person and a a person that's more spiritual that realizes hey my angels are there hey my angels have my back and I don't have to worry about anything so that's really a good message so let's do your yes no if you pick number three Okay, so it went off camera, but you definitely, you got yes. So whatever your question was, you got yes. So um, let me know down in the comments, you know, your situation. I like when people comment and tell me what's going on with them. I don't always respond, but I always read it. So don't worry that I'm not reading your comments because I always am. And if you would like a more in-depth reading, then definitely email me. It's Amanda Rose Tarot at hotmail.com. And I definitely want to help you out. So shoot me an email and I will help you. So love and light to you and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.